here at the Vintage Antique Flea Market where we will see rows and rows full of antiques, vintage, and collectibles. We'll see glass lamps, chandeliers and sconces, smalls and littles, all kinds of pottery, jewelry and accessories, furniture, rugs, and art. We'll start out at this glassware table. There was far less glass here this time than there usually is. Ooh, those Fenton Carnival glass swung vases got my attention. I'm Tanya, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This mushroom dome etched crystal table lamp should have come home with me. This is the first thing I'm kicking myself over. $150 in perfect condition. Somebody's gonna score on that. It's just beautiful. This is a really interesting collectible by Franz Porcelains. It was super cute. The most interesting thing about this flea market is that it's different every time I come here. It always seems to have a personality. And this time the theme is furniture and art. There is so much of it. I know I've had requests for more of that in the past, and this time the flea market delivered. Like these gorgeous retro yellow chairs. I can't believe people aren't fighting over these. And would you look at this scallop back chair on this patio set. And here's a steal. Nobility Permaware 1950s whole set. $40. The rest of it isn't even unboxed yet. Whether you're hitting a flea market, thrift store, garage sales, yard sales, it doesn't matter. It always pays to get there early. FYI, in case you're local, you might notice that the surroundings look different, and that's because this flea market has moved. It used to happen under the freeway in downtown Sacramento, but they had to move due to construction, so I will put the new address in the description box below. Look at this gorgeous tiger oak secretary curio. This is only number one, and this is number two. Gorgeous. And inside the cabinet was a pair of orchid candle holders that took my breath away. This is a sweet little hand-painted set, and if I remember correctly, I think it was $25. In case you're new to my channel, where I go, you go, I just take you along for the ride, and we look at everything. Whether it's an antique flea market, yard sales or garage sales, antique stores, antique malls, thrift stores. I want to give you the feeling that you're there, right there with me, and you don't have to miss anything just because it doesn't happen to be an interest of mine. If you want to see what I brought home today, you can hang out with me until the end, and I will show you my haul at the end of the video. Gold frames are a hot item right now, and between the art and the frames, this booth had me salivating. This booth was not cheap, but it was impressive. $70. 70 on that frame? Yeah, 1880. Just look at those sweet little daisies. You know, my aunt and my grandmother had a theory and they always said you will so rarely come across something for your home that you absolutely love and your home should be full of those. That frame was one of those rarities for me and that makes this time too today that I'm kicking myself for. 
It happens every time I'm here, so I figured I may as well just make a game out of keeping track of it. I have never seen this much antique hardware here before. This was amazing. Antique coffee grinder, adorable. Absolutely everything about this lamp is perfection. This is hands down my favorite piece of art for the day, but it was 175, that's a little steep. And the good news is that here, because there's so many vendors and so many price ranges, I could just as easily come across a piece of art for 20 or $40 that I love just as much. And I swear to you, I really am doing my best to try to break up all of the artwork and furniture that are gonna be in this video. I'm doing my absolute best. Admittedly, it is quite the challenge. I ran to this piece, and then my heart sank when I recognized that it was a twin. This was such an amazing booth for artwork. Pieces ranged between $12 and maybe 150. So many gorgeous pieces in here.
this giant, gorgeous painting was unfortunately so heavy, there's no way I could have hung it on my wall. I think she was only asking 150 for it, and whoever went home with that painting scored so big. It was an 1800s signed original painting. So stunning. Northwood ruffled carnival glass, always stunning. This booth had some very pretty pottery, Roseville and Van Briggle. If you're a Moorcroft collector, this little candy dish is adorable and it's a pretty good price. I just saw it for $2.50 online. More Roseville pottery, Royal Winton pottery. It said $45, I believe. Roseville wall pocket. I think the wall pockets are so cute.
I only brought home a couple of things this time and this is one of them. So I will show you what I got and then I'm going to show you a couple of things from the past that I bought and how I styled them in my home. I bought this huge bird cage, which I'm planning on stuffing with candles so I can have a nice soft light on my back patio on a breezy evening. You might recognize this print and the settee, which I recovered. It was in my best yard sale ever video. These two pieces of art are from another yard sale video and I love them so much. I am filming and turning the camera every which way to see if I can get the glare off of them so you can actually see them. I just love the frame on this one. Well, it looks like that's the best I'm going to be able to do, but I was glad to share it with you. Thank you so much for coming with me, and until next time, happy thrifting!